So we get a view of a supposed Ministry of Defense of East Germany in this episode. Actually what is shown is the so-called Detlef Rohwetter House. Uh, this building was erected in the Third Reich and it originally served as the Ministry of Aviation. In East Germany then it became the House of Ministries and uh, that's just where several ministries who were related to the economy were located at. Nowadays it is the German Ministry of Finance, but uh, the actual East German Ministry of Defense was located in Strausberg. I think that's a little bit in the north of Berlin. And in front of that building we see an, a truck parked. It seems to be an IFA G5. Uh, you, can, you can actually recognize them quite easily with their rising engine cowlings. Uh, they were quite characteristic of this truck. Just a quick note on the clothes of Gretel and Theodore. They are perfectly normal. I think th they look worldwide similar. It's nothing special. But for example, like with the school uniforms, I try uh, to look at the different clothing the people wear. Does it make sin? It's not nitpicking. I just try to um, analyze it in detail, not that you think really clothing who the fuck cares well some of you do so through gretel we find out that this major she talks to has made 150,000 east german mark through some shady deals now i know it's always quite hard to really grasp the value of a foreign currency uh, for example i remember back in the day before there was the euro one German mark was worth about 1000 Italian Lira and the East German mark of course had a much lower value than the West German mark but at the same time you could buy much more stuff in the East with that money. Uh, so yeah, what was the value of these 150k? If you had an apartment, even a 69 square meter apartment had a monthly rent of on average just 93.10 mark. I wish we had that nowadays. And this is a little uh, gem. East Germany actually produced a single video game system. The BSS-01. And this single video game console, uh, it was just standard stuff like Pong clones and so on. You know the deal. Uh, it also pretty much looked like a ripoff of uh, ColecoVision or Intellivision. Uh, that one was about 550 mark. So, judging by uh, the video game systems we have nowadays, uh, not much cheaper, not much more expensive. On the other hand, you would have to work much more to get these 550 East German Mark. But yeah, I hope this gives you a rough idea of just how much money this guy has made. Near the end of the episode, there is a mention of a Western theater training forces. Now, um, remember when we talked about the East German Army emblem in the second episode? I mentioned that it reads Army Group East in, at the bottom and that the logo itself also suggests that this is the East German Army that is responsible for the eastern part of East Germany and that there would therefore be also a western part. And with the mere title Western Theater Training Forces, it, it suggests something that was actually a thing back then. You see, uh, for the mere possibility that the Cold War could turn hot at any moment, there had to be plans drawn up by all sides. Okay, what do we do if this actually becomes a real conflict? So there were quite some stratagems developed on how to conquer West Germany in case of a war. And yeah... This could actually be what Franz Heim and his people are all about, because even in the world of Schwarzes Marken with a beta, well, threat, you can't really phrase it any other way, um, despite the fact that they work together with the with West to uh, contain this beta threat, they are still not real allies. They are still basically uh, opposing political systems. So while Heim and his men don't really have to deal with the beta and all that crap, they just have to stand on guard just in case things turn sour with the West. And 
yeah, this is my take on the whole situation. It would be really interesting if we could catch a glimpse on his emblem of just what the Western uh, theater training forces have. Because it should be pretty much the same as the one we have seen so far, but highlighting the Western part of East Germany and then reading uh, Armee Gruppe West or Army Group West in this case. This would be quite interesting to see if uh, there is this sort of continuity in this episode or just in this universe overall. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next episodes if we can get some more intel on that. So one last thing that was kind of weird is that they said uh, two people of the same family can't be in the same squad. Of course, this may be a law in the Mufflife universe, but in reality, it's uh, if you think about it, it's kind of stupid. I don't think any socialist country would do it, because a lot of uh, family members pushed their own members into this rank. So, look, he's loyal, he wants to get a career and something, be something special. And that's why I think it's not that uncommon that family members would be in the same squad. Also, uh, Saint Senate and I both don't know anything about uh, such a restriction and just from a logic logic wise it wouldn't really make sense. Perhaps there were certain uh, fields of the military where that might be true so they might try to prevent that in certain groups but this wasn't specified. This is just as a whole and as a whole it doesn't really make sense. So what's my verdict on this episode? Well, I really liked what we saw this week. Uh, I mean, Gretel was shown in her winter coat, so that is already a huge bonus for me. She looked pretty cute. Um, but also, I really like the fact that we don't get a constant barrage of TSF versus beta battles, because I think that would get quite boring for me pretty fast. Uh, I like that they keep the tension up with political intrigues, showing the characters a bit more, uh, their ideals and what they feel and stuff like that, and just paint a better, a better picture of how this whole world and life there feels like under this threat of a beta. And yeah, I really enjoy the pacing of Schwarz's Marken so far, because it doesn't go too fast, but it doesn't feel slow. A lot of anime have a problem that either they go too fast or too slow, or they are just inconsistent, like certain things they just start out really strong or end very strong, but in the middle they drag. And so far Schwarzes Marken has reached its middle part and it doesn't drag. And this is something I can really appreciate in an anime. So I'm definitely looking forward to next week's episode and I really hope Gretel survives this. But I kind of doubt it and uh, I guess I'll be spoiled anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I'm... See you next episode. So yes, this was it with the sixth episode of our analysis videos. If you like it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe and share it. Because the more people know, the more people come. Please don't dislike my other stuff I'm doing, like the cosplay stuff. If you're not interested in, just ignore it. It's not a much big of a deal, but disliking is this kind of unfair. As usual, I thank you for your attendance and remember, I'm German, I can say it.